Hello from Editing Me. I was editing this video and realized that I never did an introduction at the beginning of the video. So here I am doing that. So hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and I make videos about books and life and stuff that I feel like. And the video you are about to watch is, as I'm sure the title gives hints at, gives tells you that I finally got the bookshelf of my dreams. Um, ever since I was a kid, I have wanted to have a bookshelf to put my books on and I finally bit the bullet and did it and it makes me so very happy. So a um, little sneak peek of the, the bookshelf is there, obviously, um, but I still hope that you watch and enjoy the video. So without further ado, we will roll that video. <laughs> There's no actual tea in here. It is Izzy, but you know, the effect. It is weird to drink carbonated Izzy out of a mug. That bookshelf, I built it a month ago. As you can see, it is still empty. But last night I got like this whole wind in me to do the things that I needed to do or wanted to do with my room. And one of those is fill that bookshelf. And so I went through and I found what I think is all the books that I want to put on that bookshelf for the most part. I still need to go through some of those boxes. I think I have most of what I want. I know there's a quite a few that I was specifically looking for and I found them. So yeah, it's been a month. Why busy? haven't felt like searching for the books they're all like in boxes scattered around the garage so you have to really like it's a lot of lifting and I didn't have the energy to do that but I did last night so I did and so now I'm gonna fill the bookshelf with the books how I think I'm gonna do it we'll do like a whole tour or something afterwards but we're really gonna it's gonna be like genre and then vibes genre vibes is what we're gonna go for Hope you enjoy. You wanna see some baby picture of me? I found a little old. Look at me. I don't know how old I am there. Can't be more than like a few years, but look at me. I had such white blonde hair as a child.
kind of made me tear up seeing these pictures. But I don't feel like crying on camera. So one more. And then I'm going to put this away and show my mom later. And cry with her, probably. Anyway, can't really see it. But I went through and these are all the books that I am going to put on the shelf. Honestly, I think because all these books and all my books have always been like their life in boxes I've never actually like in my mind I feel like I have so much more books to like fill a bookshelf so this is feels a lot smaller than I thought but that's okay um because pretty much what we see here is like I've read every book here there's a few exceptions within my classics pile but that's okay yeah I was actually very pleasantly surprised um I was sort of afraid. I own every Percy Jackson book in existence. <laughs> Not in existence, but um, I have every series there and I was sort of afraid that I might be missing some. Um, I especially thought I was missing the Kane Chronicles, but I did find those. Um, so that was a very, very nice surprise. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just gonna start putting them on the shelf. I don't really know how I want things to go. Part of the issue, but I will figure it out. filled. That took not as long as I thought, which is nice because I didn't want to take, I didn't want to spend all day on it. Um, I'm not sure how I guess, happy -ish I am with it, to be quite honest. Um, there's some things I'll probably move around um, to get it more what I like, but overall I'm glad to have it and to have it filled and to have my books there so let's do a little 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 tour of it so we'll start up top i've just got my romance books here um emily henry's ali hazelwood and then bk borson um this will get more filled as i finish some more of these books by authors and then peter Dar darling so romance books and then this and this and just a little peek this I got from a Japanese stationery store. I'll leave a link to it below, but it's, um, I've bought from them a couple times. It's come very quickly to me in the US and these are super duper cute. And I was so excited to finally put them on here. Up next, I've got, I guess more like adult-esque books that I didn't really know where else to put them. Um, my TJ Clunes, The House of Cerulean Sea and Under the Whispering Door, um, Stuart Torden, the Devil in the Dark Water, and Aaron Morgenstern, and Song of Achilles. So that's where those are. And also, my little Yuri on Ice figurines. My friend got these for me quite a few years ago, and um, I think Yuri has broken a couple times off his stand, but I still love him and I still want to keep him. This is, I guess, my fantasy shelf. Um, over here we've got more like the YA fantasy, which is really only two series, but it's The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, um, and the Diviners series by Libba Bray. Fun fact, Libba Bray, her series A Great and Terrible Beauty, um, was the series that got me into fanfiction. So I guess thank you, Libba Bray, for introducing me to fandom, because I would not be doing stuff like this if it wasn't for that and a friend who introduced it to me but yeah anyway another 3d card from that japanese subscription and then i guess more my adult so i don't know but though i don't know if we would count six crows as 
adult, but more my like adult fantasy. The Founders Trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett, Six of Crows, and then Ninth House. Um, I just wanted to keep we bar to go together and Hellbent Ninth House is definitely more of like an adult and Six of Crows maybe not quite as an adult oh god um but fits and then this like the piece de sens. that was bad but I guess the middle one though I might move this one it is all my Percy Jackson books all of them we'll need to create more room because I don't know that I have enough room to finish up as this series comes out, but I kept all like Percy Jackson's centric books together and then the kind of spinoffs together. So my very used copies of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the um, Heroes of Olympus, and then the newest Percy Jackson book. Then we've got the King Chronicles, Magnus Chase, and then the Trials of Apollo. And then this is the one that I want to figure out a little bit more but like I might move it up a bit but it's my classics for the most part um also I have like four copies of Pride and Prejudice um I may have an issue so we've got these beautiful beautiful covers of Little Woman, Anna Green Gables, Princess, Little Princess and Heidi and then the beautiful covers of those Jane Austen books and just some random ones that I've collected and had through the years. Anna Karenina some of these are special because Anna Karenina um, I got from uh, my AP English teacher. He has unfortunately passed on but having some books from him is just really special. Uh, my senior year AP English I took with him was his last year. He um, retired that year and so he gave away so many books and I don't quite remember which exactly ones I got but I know I got Anna Karenina and a few others that I've probably not seen. Um, some Agatha Christie. I uh, also got this my senior year from a friend who was an exchange student. Um, haven't talked to her in a few years, but it's still very special to me to have that. And yeah, then those, my little, I don't know quite what to do with it over here. We've got some kind of YA middle grade. Um, and honestly, Chasey Vermeer and The Right Three, even The Calder Game. Maybe I need to reread The Calder Game, but these books, they may be middle grade, but they are so good. Would highly recommend. But we've got just like the mismatch, the few YA and middle grade that I don't want to give up. Um, I'd really like to get some different covers of Radio Silence and Solitaire by Alice Oseman, but I don't want to spend more money. And I already have copies of those books. And then this one is super special to me. I got it um, my first time I went to London and I was, I'm still, so excited that I like was able to buy that book there because at the time it was not available in America and it was I don't know one of those special treats and then just some little extras uh a giant collection of Jane Austen novels there's like Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Persuasion and Emma is in here and then a couple copies of Sherlock Holmes and then another 3D card with a little kitty cat and then here is just some random stuff uh my bath bombs because they just fit perfectly right here um this is where those books came in i don't know what to do with that a book about road trips on the usa and then captain america and then because i have this it gave me a little bit more room on these shelves so i just decided to keep my graphic novels here and then kind of spread out my um k-pop albums a little bit more aka i moved those um but yeah and so then down here on my nightstand this is my physical tbr not a whole lot but it is kind of nice to have it kept right here um to pick up when i want to and then my book my thing of books to also give away it's my bookshelf and i'm so happy oh my gosh it makes me so happy to see it. Yeah. The more I look at it, the more happier I get. It was pretty funny the like first couple nights that I had this built in Sydney. I woke up a couple times and kind of freaked out about having some dark shadow thing in my room before like really realizing that um it was my new bookshelf. I am so happy to have my corner back. I am so happy to have that filled. Alright. There's that. There's 
there's the bookshelf tour. Thank you for coming along with me. I am so glad to have that filled after like letting it sit there for a month. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, morning, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. I hope it is wonderful. And I will see you guys again in another video soon. Bye.